and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you this next guest. I have been just laughing and smiling since we've just started talking. You guys are going to have an incredible time hearing from her. So buckle up, grab your popcorn, grab some pen and paper because you're going to want to take notes. It's none other than Christine Trippy. Christine, can you hear your, your audience clapping for you? It's incredible. And I've got a big thumbs up for them. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Christine, thank you so much for joining us today on Super Fantastic Exchange. Before we get started, I want you to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Fantastic. Well, I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you. It's been so great meeting you and, and having fun this morning. Uh, I'm Christine Trippy. I am the CEO and the Chief Fun Officer here at the Wise Pineapple. I'm the author of Yes is the Answer, and I've spent 36 years in hospitality leadership inside hotels. And now I work to serve any brand, any company to help them to say yes and to drive sweet results. And so that's a little bit about me. Oh my gosh. That is just, Christine, that is just like barely scratching the surface of the amazingness that you are and what you do. And that's one of the reasons I love to connect with inspiring leaders. Cause I've been, I, I just recently got introduced to you from another uh, individual that I, I truly admire. And he said, you're incredible. And so I started kind of like digging into your YouTube videos, checking out your website, and I can't wait to get a copy of your book. I'm going to order it very soon but i'm going to put a link to you know your your website your book on the show notes so everyone can connect with you but i love to connect with just incredibly inspiring leaders and take a peek behind the curtain to see what inspires these inspiring leaders and so i reached out to you and asked you what inspires you and you came back with a huge list which i'm i'm just so excited about but i picked the top 3 that really intrigued me so i want to jump on the on the first one and that's it that's that is the first thing that inspired you is first so uh -huh. christine explain to us what that means why does first inspire you well uh, gosh i i'm not even sure if i can articulate this uh, <laughs> in a in a concise manner but i'll tell you i just i just love first i love doing something for the first time and seeing it through new eyes and, and the first eyes. And I love, I love travel, which is another one of my uh, uh, passions and inspirations, but especially when I can go to a new place for the first time and experience it and learn and be inspired. It's just so incredible. Then the most incredible thing happened when I had my first baby. Everything that was old became new again. And it was the living through it the first time again. And now it's happening again. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to laugh. I, I'm living all the first over through my puppies. <laughs> I have two dogs. And that's a new thing for me. I've never had, I had a dog when I was a, a child, but as an adult, we've never had a dog. And now we have two puppies and everything I'm doing again, taking them to the, the, to go hiking or taking them to the park. All of those things are living again as a first, because now I'm seeing it through their eyes and they're so happy. And so it's just, so I love first and, and even uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say all the time I say, okay, I can't go back there because I'm at a certain age where I've only got so much time left, right, everybody. And I've got to go to new places and see new things. And then my sister will come along. And she's like, oh, I really want to go here. I'm like, well, I've been there, but you haven't. So I can see it first again through you. So it's okay that we go there again. So I just love first. I think they're so special and so inspiring and, and you can do it again through the eyes of someone who's not done it. That is brilliant. And, and Christine, I love, I love how you've kind of shifted because a lot of us have filters because, okay, we've been there, we've done that. And so our filter gets foggy from our kind of experience with that. And we're like, I, there's nothing new for me in this moment, in this experience, in this, you know, place that I'm at. Whereas you have come in with such an incredible approach to this. You're like, yeah, I've got this filter. I'm going to take off my old one and I'm going to put a new one on so that mm -hmm. I can experience it with 
my baby, with my dogs, with my friend. And it resonates that it creates this whole new experience for you and it creates new joy. It creates possibly new outlooks, new things that you didn't catch the first time. Yes. And you would probably miss if you kept on your old filters yes. um, and, and not experience it with new eyes uh, a second time or even a third time. And I'll, I'll share another one for you. I live here in Chicago. Well, I live in the suburbs, but <laughs> I live in the Chicagoland area. And my honey bunny and I, every year, we we didn't travel a lot. You know, working in hotels, all you do is work, okay? And uh, we didn't travel a lot, but, and we had kids and we had very humble salaries and whatnot. So, but every year we did a weekend downtown Chicago and our rule was we could not do anything we've ever done before. We had to find new things. So we would still revisit the same city, but we would only do new things for the first time. <laughs> Gosh, I just, I love the first. I think that is yeah. such a great way to experience your day. Cause even if it's the same Monday, the same front desk that you're sitting at, there will be some new firsts in that day, in that moment if you kind of change your filters and just look at it in a new first. Change Christine, that's fantastic. I'm I'm learning something. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm kind of getting some sort of revelation just here today on this Monday. And I've done, I've done so many of these episodes and I love that you're helping me uh, and, and others just experience this the first time in a new, new perspective. So thank you for that. That's, you're that's welcome. fabulous. So the the second thing that I've chosen from your list okay. of inspirational points is changing the world one yes at a time. This is fun. I'm 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 intrigued by this one. So what does that mean to you? How how does this changing the world one yes at a time inspire you? This can go back. This is going to go back. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think how I can maybe tell you this um uh quickly. But let me tell you the short in now, right now, hmm. one yes at a time. Every time you say yes to a first, to to helping someone, to an offer, new opportunity, every single time you say yes, you have the opportunity to change someone's world or change the way something happens or how, you know, it, it, you have the opportunity to change the world. And that's leading from the heart. When you open yourself up to those opportunities and possibilities that the world opens. Now I talk about this through, through yes is the answer. When we begin with no, whether that's in customer service, whether that is in our own life, whether no matter what facet of our lives, when you start with no, you close the door. You close the door to relationships. You close the door to opportunities. When you say yes, you open this door and the a ripple that happens is so profound that it just uh, that's leading from the heart at one yes at a time. We can change the world every time you say yes. Oh my gosh. And, and, you know, a lot of times we will, it's kind of a defense mechanism. The no is the, the initial response because we're like, you know, no, I, you know, X, Y, Z, we can't do it. Mm -hmm. But the people that I find that are most successful find something that they can say yes to first. And that yes creates additional opportunities. And, and, and one of the things I share is like, raise your hand. You know, raising your hand is probably the most, the scariest thing you can do in a group meeting or in a scenario. But I love that you are talking about changing the world one yes at a time, finding a way to say yes to whatever it may be, because it truly can just make huge changes. Ma massive, like life-saving changes sometimes. And, and I, you know, there's a story I share in the book about changing uh, uh, the memory a family has about a day their father died uh, versus changing into this happy day. Because the, the story is about um, little five-year-olds. They were visiting our resort and we were having so much fun with them. We were celebrating their birthday. We had no idea what we were doing. And by the end of the day, the mom came to find me and to tell me, Christine, I, you just don't know what the, what all you've done has meant to us. And I'm like, oh, we've had so much fun celebrating your boy's birthday. She says, well, we're actually trying to make this a happy day again because last year on their birthday, their father died. 
and right? I have so many of these stories literally give me goosebumps that I can share with you. And there's another one that's very special to me. I share in my keynote. And, and this is all because we said, Hey, here's two little boys with birthday. Yes. Let's celebrate them. Every time you say yes, you can change the world. And sometimes that's a very just sweet thing. And sometimes it is a monumental thing. And, and how lucky are we that we get to do this every day, especially when you are in a position where you work with the public, you serve people. We get to do this every day and we're so lucky. Oh my gosh. I just, Christine, there's so many things that just resonated with me. What you just said gave me goosebumps. I mean, you just, because you chose to say yes, you created or you made an experience that might not have been memorable, incredibly memorable. Um, you know, kids celebrating kids' birthday seems so ordinary, right. but because you said yes and you went above and beyond, I'm sure you did, you mm -hmm. made it a new memory for them, something special that they overcame a past memory. Yes. And I'm going to go back <laughs> really quickly Please. To, the, to the science of this, because we are genetically programmed to go to the no. We are, it is genetically programmed. I talk about this a lot in the book and in my keynotes, but we are, our natural instinct is to say, oh no, I'm not experienced enough. Oh no, I don't have a time for that. Or, oh no, we immediately want to go to the no. That's why we have to be intentional and be aware where we're being negative, where we're turning down opportunities and we, to take that pause. And that's the whole first step in the book is to pause and make friends first. But sometimes you have to make friends with an idea as well, not just Ooh. make friends with another person. So I could say to somebody, oh, you know what? A position just opened up and you would be amazing at it. Your first instinct is most likely going to be, no, I'm not experienced enough or I don't have experience in X, Y, Z, or I'm not ready for that. That's going to be your first. We have to pause before we go into the no and let's make friends first with the idea <laughs> Ooh, that is brilliant i feel like i'm in a little master's class of <laughs> this is great stuff man you guys are going to want to take notes on all this stuff rewind listen to some of this again and 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 just take notes this is great stuff christine i want to get to that last point uh with you which is yeah. this one's kind of fun your 50 cup coffee challenge you have you're speaking my language. I have a cup of coffee here with me yeah. right now. So tell me what. I have my water. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, you are so committed to the pineapple and I, I absolutely, am. I adore that so much. So I, I'm just loving everything about you. But uh, tell me what it is about the, the 50 cup coffee challenge. What does that, what does this do to inspire you? What is this? Sure. Well, I heard about this uh, maybe like 2017, I think it is. And it basically 50 cups of coffee challenge. And that is to have 50 cups of coffee with someone new a first um, throughout the year. So basically that's saying one a week, you get two off for good behavior and holidays. And with intention, because if you're not intentional, uh, intentional about things, life just happens. So you need to go into the your world and your day and your week with intention. Who am I going to connect with to uh, inspire me to expound and um and to network with? And uh, that's my challenge every single year. And I've exceeded my expectations every year since I started this challenge. And I've done um workshops on it i have uh, i done little little huddles if you will on that but i just love inspiring people with this idea that i was inspired with and uh it's it's just such a cool idea and i can tell you story after story after story of things that happened because of a coffee chat again changing the world every time you say yes to i will call this person to have this coffee chat, you know, your, your world opens up and worlds change. I, I can tell you one example. Um, <laughs> to, to, well, okay. I'm going to give you two quick examples. I'm going to give you two quick examples. One, the very first one I had, I got a, a, a message from someone and it was someone I worked with back at Keelan Cove Water Resort and I hadn't seen them in years. 
And typically I would have said, Teej, I missed you. We should get together. And that never happened. Mm -hmm. Instead, I said, Teej, I miss you. When are you free next week? We're getting together for a coffee chat. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, everybody. I've had more captain chats than coffee chats, but. <laughs> we won't say nothing. Captain Morgan and Diet Coke or coffee, whatever. But, and then so we got together. Then I learned that he was looking for a new position. Then I, I had just recently been offered a new position that I was not um, in, interested in only because I was so in love with my position. Mm -hmm. And I connected those two and they took it from there. The things that happen in coffee chats are amazing. Then, all because I had the bravery to reach out to a keynote speaker that was much further along than I was in this industry. And I was so nervous to ask the, this person for their time for a coffee chat, but I did it. And that person said yes. And then because that person said yes, I posted about it on social media. Well, someone who was looking to have her as the keynote for their event saw our connection, looked into my information, and asked me to be the closing keynote for the same event. Wow. You know, I never expected anything like that. But I can tell you story upon story and story, the opportunities that happen. Every time you say yes, you can change the world. And sometimes it's your world. Oh, my gosh. Christine, this is... <laughs> This has been brilliant. I'm 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 loving everything that you've been sharing with me this morning. I, and everything so threads together so yes. well because I mean you talk about first and and you talk about you know changing the world one yes at a time and then you just you just wrap it up so well with the 50 cup the coffee cup challenge or Captain Morgan uh yeah. coffee <laughs> challenge so well because it takes those first first coffee chat it takes mm -hmm. the willingness to say yes to that meeting because you never know what comes from it and you are just you're so transformational because i i can only imagine just my limited experience with you here and now has been so transformational i'm just i i just i am so intrigued by all the things that you do your perspective on everything and i i just imagine you are unbelievable when you get on stage um, and, and the way that you transform that room with your energy and the things that you have to share. And I I, I could talk to you for hours, Christine. This has been amazing. Uh, but we're at the end of our time. But before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. Oh, sure. Um, well, a, clo a closing thought as far as you do. you? Oh, you know what? I think from watching your shows, you want me to do like a, a quote or uh, what, whatever yes, you want to share. Everyone. Okay, <laughs> whatever I want to share. Um, oh my gosh, now I'm like, oh, what do I want to share? Um, here's my favorite quote. I'm going to share my favorite quote. It is, it is, I'm drawing, drawing a blank. My favorite quote is, a year from now, you'll be, you'll wish, you'll be glad. Okay, I'm gonna start over. No, no, that's good. I know where you're going. I'm loving this. A year from now, you'll be glad you started today. Everything I have in my life, I could have maybe even had decades earlier. Start today because you will not believe the magic that happens when you say yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so good. That was worth the pause because you were you were saying yes to that idea. You paused yes. and you brought us some gold pineapple juice. I love that. <laughs> I had to tie that in. That was my. Yes, my I love own. that. I love that. <laughs> Christine, this has been such a brilliant conversation. I can't thank you enough for joining us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange, guys. Y'all make sure you go follow Christine uh, on LinkedIn. Go check out her website. I'm going to put the link to her website in the show notes. And make sure you connect with her. Grab her book. I am going to order it as soon as I finish this episode here because I cannot wait to read it. If that one story is any indicator of how incredible this book's going to be, it's going to be incredible. So I can't wait to grab my copy of the book. Christine, thank you so much for joining us this, this day on the Super Fantastic Exchange. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.